The journey of space flight began in October 1957, an era of Cold War between US and USSR, when the Soviets had stunned US by inaugurating the space age by placing the first artificial satellite in orbit around the Earth, known as Sputnik 1. Space flight history is based on some very important discoveries and have achieved a state where no one thought this industry will progress to. I am Mohammad Umar and I will be going through some of the most important milestones of space flight due to which human race has achieved the space flight status at which we are today. It was the day of April 12th, 1961 that marked two huge milestones in the history of human space flight. On that date in 1961, the Soviet Union's Yuri Gagarin became the first person in history to reach outer space. And exactly 20 years later, NASA launched the first space shuttle mission debuting the workhorse vehicle that would carry astronauts to and from low Earth orbit for the next three decades. It was Vostok 1, spherical shaped capsule, in which cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin launched into the space. Flight consisted of 108 minutes of orbiting around the Earth. Then the spacecraft landed safely in USSR field. The flight was a major milestone for humanity and yet another victory for the Soviet Union in escalating its Cold War space race with the United States. Gagarin's plane crashed during a military training flight in March 1968, killing the cosmonaut at the age of 34. US had to retaliate by launching their own space mission. And that is why on May 5, 1961, NASA's astronaut Alan Shepard launched aboard the Freedom 7 vehicle, becoming the second human being in the space. Shepard had achieved a suborbital flight spanning to 15 minutes with an altitude of 115 miles or 185 kilometers. Spacecraft splashed down in Atlantic Ocean 302 miles or 486 kilometers from Florida launch site. This short trip marked a successful human spaceflight debut for US and became the foundation for longer, more ambitious projects ahead. It was mostly human-controlled flight during re-entry as well as the time of weightlessness, thus pointing towards the sign that spacecrafts can be, in fact, human-piloted. On June 16, 1963, the Soviet Union's Valentina Tereshkova piloted the Vostok 6 vehicle, completing 48 orbits of Earth and staying in the space for nearly three days, hence becoming the first woman in space. And now, the space flight was no longer endeavored by men only. Yet another victory was scored by Soviet Union in its Cold War space race against the United States in 1965 when cosmonaut Alex Planov made history's first spacewalk. While Voskhod 2 spacecraft was orbiting around the Earth, Planov got outside the spacecraft and stayed in the cool space with only a spacesuit separating him from the near vacuum of space. Almost three months later, an astronaut, Edward White, stepped outside the Gemini 4 spacecraft of United States and marking an other milestone for the US. Now was the time to leave Earth's field and reach higher goals. NASA's Apollo 8 mission launched on December 21, 1968, made one and a half orbits of Earth, then lit out for the moon. Earth looked like a precious blue marble suspended in the vast reaches of space when seen from the spacecraft's rear-view television camera. At 4.18 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 July 1969, Apollo 11 mission touched down on the moon. Shortly after that, Neil Armstrong put his first step on the moon's surface and a famous quotation came out as, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Both Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin spent 21 hours on the moon surface exploring, collecting samples, and experimenting. On July 15, 1975, US joined hands with Soviet Union for a manned space flight mission in which one spacecraft, Apollo, docked with Soviet Soyuz spacecraft in low Earth orbit. Crews performed several experiments together for two days. 
This was the last Apollo mission of US and it is also unofficially known as Apollo 18. A revolutionary step was taken on April 19, 1971. The Soviet Union successfully launched world's first space station Soyuz 1 into the space. On April 23, 1971, the cosmonaut attempted to enter the space station from a spacecraft but could not enter it due to docking problems. Finally, the crew of Soyuz 11 made it into the space station on 7 June 1971. When the cosmonauts of Soyuz 11 completed their mission and started their journey back to Earth, all three cosmonauts died due to depressurization in the spacecraft during re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. On October 1971, Soyuz 1 was brought down to lower and lower altitude by the engineers and the whole structure burned down due to aerodynamic heating during re-entry in Earth's atmosphere. Exactly after 20 years of human spaceflight, on April 12, 1981, NASA's first space plane made its maiden flight. Columbia blasted off on this day. A new phase of human spaceflight started. US launched a total of 133 missions after that, and two of those missions failed completely with the loss of both the crew as well as the shuttles. That's all for today's topic. Please subscribe to our channel to show your support and stay tuned as we will continue our discussion of space flight of 21st century in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.